I love great conversations. Hi, my name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute Convos where I help you create a brand of your own unique real self. Listen in as I have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good night, good night, Don Armstead. How are you going on this wonderful, beautiful night? I am incredible. How are you? I am excellent. It's a great pleasure to connect with you. What part of the world are you in right now, Don? I am in Lubbock, Texas, USA. Oh, there we go. There we go. And which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this time? My, I, um, I guess it would be my... Um, hmm networking skills i guess all right all right who did you learn the skill of networking from really it, it, it's been something that was it's always been quite natural because i um got it from my parents hmm. and it's uh you know and it's fun because it's not the typical networking where um you see people who are trying to meet people for what they can get but i learned from my parents how to genuinely enjoy meeting people and getting to know who they are and just enjoying that aspect of people oh that's intriguing now there's something that's fascinating to me and there are a couple of guys that you know that i know as we're speaking about networking right so it's joe levitt Uh john falcons is and they are with the dave ramsey team are you familiar with them i actually i am not i know that we are we have them in common but I am not. I have um, I have not been very active lately with the uh, Dave Ramsey team. Okay, cool. It's cool then. <laughs> <laughs> I was just checking. I was just checking. I was just checking. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Well, tell us then why you will continue to use this skill of networking. Though. Well, it's kind of my life calling. <laughs> the um, Because I guess you could call it, um, it's, in the professional world, it's uh, networking, uh, but then as a missionary, it's just loving people. Hmm. Yeah, tell us about what you do in the missionary part of your life. Yeah, I um, that's that's basically it. I share the love of God uh, through the gospel and through um, feeding and you know a lot of social services um, things I never expected to be uh, working on, but. But uh, it's 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 been very rewarding um, and eye opening. Hmm. So how long did you start? I've actually been on the traveling end of things uh, since 2015. Hmm. Intriguing. Has it been fun? Oh, it's been incredible, incredible. Um, focusing on the uh, Philippines, I um, it it was never on my list of places I wanted to go for vacation. <laughs> that's for sure. Um, but it's amazing how beautiful the creation is and how how you just, you just, it's amazing. I mean, words cannot express the beauty of the creation. And then the people, the people are amazing. Mm. Yeah. You sound fascinated. So, so when you journey there, exactly what are you doing there when you, when you go and the Philippines is a couple of hours away. Well, right. Like it's challenging, (laughs) right? I mean, that's a lot of playing time. Oh yeah, yeah. It's well, basically, what I it's like I fly out. Let's see, at nine hours from here to Hawaii, and then eleven hours from Hawaii to the Philippines. Ouch. Yeah, yeah. and it's funny. It's like because I'm going back four or five hours, depending on what time of year it is, to, uh, back in time uh, to get to Hawaii. Then I jump ahead eighteen hours to uh, get to the Philippines. So it's a uh, crazy kind of jet lag yeah i could imagine but, uh, <laughs> but it's but worth it, is, it. It's, yes it, it really is and i just basically i uh live with the people that's you know and build relationships because that's how you really uh understand the needs of the people is you know through relationship and also being that it is a third world country that's also how you make sure that you're pouring your resources into the right areas. And, uh, you know, and it's, it's, you know, it, you see people who they think that they've been forgotten and because you come into contact with them and you find that they have no food and God has blessed me to have the money 
to give them, you know, go, you know, bless them with food, you know, and that's just, that's just incredible because giving is, is awesome. And right now my biggest project is we're uh, focusing on supplying electricity to a remote island so that they can have a medical facility hmm. on the island because they have a high mortality rate. And uh, if we do that with the electricity, then they'll be able to have a medical facility and it will help with our medical missions that we do. Hmm. That's amazing. Wow. Well done, my friend. Well done. I appreciate you tremendously Thanks. for what you're doing. Wow. Just the traveling alone is a testament to the love that you must share for them. Wow. Yeah. It's, it is. It is. It's very rewarding. I mean, I, I love it. I wouldn't trade it. I, I believe that I am definitely living my purpose hmm. which is which is so important and i'm glad that you living your purpose has now allowed me to connect with you it's amazing how it works isn't it yes it is it is it hmm. is i love it i love it i love it well don where's the best place for someone that's listening to connect with you to find out more about what you do well actually i because i have a um, i'm working on a website but in the meantime i have my facebook page which is where i do most of my inner national communications because it's free for people abroad and uh, my Facebook um, name is Don W. Armstead and I also have my foreign missions page connected but to get the full history of uh, who I am and what I've been doing uh, it would be on the page that has my name on it. All right. Well done. Let's switch gears for a moment now and let me invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Done. Okay. <laughs> what is your earliest childhood memory? Earliest concrete childhood memory is, uh, I guess it's moving into this house. No, no, it was not. It's dancing for relatives. That's what it is. Oh, really? How old were you? Yes. I was about three years old. Why do you think this memory is so clear? And how do you see it connecting to who you are today? Well, because it's it's right before we moved into the uh, last house, the final house uh, that my parent, parents purchased. And it's connected because I, my family is very musical. I am, you know, I've played about 12 different instruments and uh, sing. I'm actually working on a CD project. So it's... And uh, I, I actually am also a former salsa instructor. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, for about 10 years, I taught salsa. So it's like dancing is just, and music has always been a part of who I am. Hmm. That's amazing. Well, can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind? Oh, sure. I love the idea that you are the guy that is willing to do what's necessary to make other people happy. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess that fits into my uh, my mantra of that I um, wrote down about 30 years ago, which is I believe that in order for my dreams to materialize, I, I must first invest in the dreams of others. Yeah. Like when you dance, right? Or when you were dancing for your relatives, I'm guessing, you know, you were doing the entertaining back then, right? Yes. Now you're dancing all over the world, right? Like 11 hours by nine hours to help go serve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But it's, it's, it, it, but it's, it's really easy to do, I guess, when you really love, because I think at the, at the core of what real love is, it's about giving. You know, uh, God's love is about giving and we give, and, but you don't determine how, you know, how to give in terms of what the people need. The people, their lives tell you what they need. Their lives direct your giving and uh, you just, just allow it to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. If we fast forward it to when you were 12 years old, what was your favorite song? When I was 12 years old. Uh, it's, it's 1978. And uh, being that I'm the youngest of nine uh, kids, I um, listen to the older, my older siblings' music and Always and Forever Always was like the forever. song of the year for, for us, at least in my house mm. with my brothers. Old school, old school. I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't attempt <laughs> yeah. to sing that one, but definitely always and forever. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. Yeah, yeah, that, that was a date song. That was <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> go for it. Go for uh, it. I'm good there, right there. That's me, right there. The humming guy. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, my friend, we've arrived at our destination. But before we get off of this time machine, there is a small declaration form. So it's yes or no, possibly a bit more. We're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready, Don? I am ready, I believe. <laughs> Don, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Yes. Are you married? I am not. Do you have children? No. Do you believe in God? Yes. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Yes. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? No. How about three hours a week? No. What about screen time, the phone, and or the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? Uh, it's about it's about eight hours a day. All right. Don, if you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who Don Armstead is, what would you say that is? A statement that represents who Don Armstead is. I think you said um, it before, right? Like yeah. 30 years ago, you, you said you did it, right? Is that it? Yeah, but... About 30 years ago, that yeah, that, that mantra of investing in the dreams of others before I can expect my own dreams to materialize. I love it. Don Armstead, this was a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Uh, one final thing, which is really at the core of how I live, and it's I am responsible for obedience. God is responsible for results. So that takes all the pressure off of me. And I can just do what I believe he wants me to do. I love it. Don Armstead, my friend, thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Thank you, Angel. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for being on 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Stay tuned for more from our advertisers. Diabetes is a mountain pandemic. It's a disease that's not acute but chronic. Similar to this rhyming method, I have simplified the definition, the signs and symptoms, and the complications of diabetes for both adults and children in my books, Poems for Patients, A Focus on Diabetes, and The ABCs of Diabetes for Children. These books are available on Amazon.com, and for more information, you can visit my website, poemsbyag.com. That's poemsbyag.com. Dot com.